Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be taking a look at Trials Rising. I am a big fan of the Trials games, I have played them all and I can remember sitting there at E3 when this game was announced and I think there have been a couple more sort of game creators on just before and they sort of showed a trailer and then announced that the game was going to be on the store at that night and I really hoped Twin Trials came on that they were going to announce that it was available on the store the day after but unfortunately we have had to wait six months well just to clarify I wasn't sat there at E3 I was sat watching E3 so let's get into the game if you have missed this, this is the open beta then not to worry as the game is released in a few days so we don't seem to be able to change too much I'm not sure whether that's because it's the beta or we get gear after playing tracks however I can make him purple can I make him dark purple? there we go, looking beautiful so here are the bikes then, we got the squid and the tandem already unlocked hopefully we will get to unlock some of these other bikes as well so here we go then, I'm not gonna go for a clean run and just keep replaying the same tracks over and over again as I imagine that's gonna get slightly annoying so far so good this track does also look rather cool this definitely still feels like a trials game but it does feel a bit more sensitive which I can see helping when you need to whoa, do a bunny hop but as for when you get to the more powerful bikes it stop wheeling all the time maybe a problem hopefully we'll get to find out hoping we can at least get there without falling off and we do and Trials forever famous for the track ending death squashed into mush so I was guessing seem as I have played Trials before that the training levels wouldn't be necessary but I thought I would just take a look and I can actually see how this level in particular if you did get your throttle right you'd be able to bounce through every ramp or maybe miss a ramp every now and again so I've just leveled up to level 2 and acquired a gear crate I'm sure this is gonna cause a lot of controversy 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 as always as long as you are able to acquire all of the items from actually playing the game then I'll be fairly happy as myself I'm not really someone who puts money into loot boxes so after the controversy let's get into another track and it can be a little bit annoying racing oh I'm guessing I wasn't meant to go this way I was just about to say it can be a little bit annoying seeing ghosts as you're always trying to beat them and it could be somebody who's got a faster bike and obviously they've done the track before so if you haven't played trials then don't worry about that too much and try and just run your own run also sometimes obviously you need to do a level a few times to get to know the track I think the big stop sign was a giveaway at the beginning so far so good that were a bit risky feel it did help ooh ooh nope okay slow down a little bit better this time and hopefully this is the end and just a silver medal this time oh, into the cement, I like it 
So we got another gear crate, and at the moment we are getting a lot of gear crates. This time a new jacket. So, so far I believe all these tracks have been easy tracks. I'm not sure whether there's going to be any extreme tracks in the beta. I do prefer the harder tracks. Ooh, that's not gone well up there. So we've at least made it halfway without falling off. Ooh. Oh, and that's not going well at all. That was a bit blagging as well. Backflip. Carry on before the train comes. These doors definitely don't open early enough. Up and through, is that the finish? It's gotta be around here somewhere. Oh, I think this is the finish. Come on, I can do it. Just like a firework. Oh, and he hit the tower! Not nice. So we have unlocked a new bike. The Rhino. Which again looks like sort of a medium skilled bike. I'm guessing there is one more that's faster. But it is also harder to control. So I think I'm going to do one more. And then in the next video I'll come back and finish off the beta. I'm not sure how many levels are in this beta. But this appears to be some kind of one-on-one. -on -one. Not really understanding the verses of the players other than I'm guessing it's the people that are around you on the leaderboard. However I find that difficult when I've not really set a time yet. And this bike does definitely feel a lot better. Nearly went the wrong way then. This is awesome! Riding down the back of a Harrier jet. Woo! I must say all the levels have been absolutely mental. We're gonna make it, wasn't sure, but we do. That's another gold medal. So before I go, I am going to have one go at a skill game that's just unlocked. As always, if you have enjoyed the video, then please drop a like. If you're not subscribed, then please hit that subscribe button. And I need to get over here before I blow up. And this is very similar to a skill game that was in a previous trials where you're on fire and you have to drive as fast as you can so you don't completely blow up. It's always nice to see a bike and that's the end of that. Well I must say I definitely love this game. Can't wait for the release. If you've played a Trials game before then you're definitely going to love it as well. You definitely can't go wrong. And it would seem that I've just unlocked another bike, so I'm guessing this is the faster but more difficult to control bike. Which I'll be taking a look at in the next video, if not on some new tracks then we'll take a look at some of the old tracks, however there is a hard track here. But until then, I'll catch you in the next one.